Hi, I'm Nadi Ansari, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get all the hosts for player to join. You should get all the hosts, all the hosts, hosts, and show the how many player in that host, and the player should should decide which host should he join. Okay, so without any further ado, let's begin. What we have done so far, let's just run our server and show you. We have our server and we have our game. When we click on host, it will go to lobby room and in and it will create host. And when we click on this back button, it will stop the host and you can see there is no host anymore. So I want to add another button for joining all the existing hosts. Okay, so let's just close this. First thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna in this host button, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna comment this room go to. So with this, we can create how many hosts we want without stopping it. Okay, so in here, when we click on this host, it will create one host, it will create another host when we click on it, and we can have as much host as we want. It's just for testing. After we finished with this testing, I will uncomment this line, but for now, let's leave it at this. Okay. So first thing, I'm gonna create another room in here. I wanna call it RM Join Lobby, for example, okay? And in here, let's just change this width and height for you to see it clearly. And what I'm gonna do in here, I wanna create another object in here for getting all the hosts, okay? So create an object, I wanna call it OBJ Join, okay? And in this OBJ Join, we wanna get all the hosts that was created in our server and for any of those hosts, we want to create a button so player can click on that, that button and join that host, okay? So in here, first of all, let's just add this join, obg join to our room. And what I'm going to do in this room, I want to add another button. And when we click on that button, it should go to our rm join lobby, okay? So let's just do that fast. I want to create an object in here. I want to call it obj join button, okay? btn for button. Give it an sprite. I did add a sprite in here that called joining in it. Okay, so let's just copy and paste from this host button. It's create event that set the image speed to zero. So let's just paste it here. This most enter most leave. I want to add it as well. So most leave and no. Let's just go to a room and add this join button in here. Okay, so whenever we hover over it, it change its color and we can click on it. Okay. So whenever we click on it, let's just join. Whenever we click on it, this left press should happen. And in here, I want to go to the room that we create, RM join lobby. Okay. And that's all it will do. And in this RM join lobby, I want to add a sprite to it. So let's just create an asset layer in here and add this to here. So we know we are in join lobby okay so now let's just run our game to see if it's working correctly or not so if we click on join you can see it will go to join lobby and everything is working fine now let's just write code for this obj join okay let's just close everything first and open up this obj join again and in create event of that i want to send the data you know it by now how you can have async network to make sure that you send the data correctly so first of all in this create event like we did in last video i want to create two variables and the first variable i want to call it did we received hosts okay i want to call it this and at default it's false the next variable that i want to create is should i try to get hosts why not it should be self-explanatory right false and the the value of it should be true okay because when this obg join run it should try to get the hosts right so let's just add a step event in here and we check if did we received host was false and should we try should i try to get the host was equal to true if that these conditions meet we should send a data to server to get the hosts right so before doing anything else, because we want to send this data every two seconds or every three seconds, we should change the should I try to get hosts to false. And after that, set an alarm because we want to send this data every two or three seconds. And I want to use alarm zero. And let's just use room speed multiply by three, for example. Every three seconds, this sending data should be happening. Okay. So first of all, let's just add our alarm in here. And in here, I want to change the should i try to get the hosts to true so it will send it after two seconds so every two seconds with this line of codes it will send the data the data that we want to send we should create a map for that okay data is equal ds map create okay 
and after that we want to add some data to it but first let's just send it send map over udp and in here the id and all of that let's just copy it from here in this left rest i want to copy it from here to over join to over obg join in here i want to paste it here so we don't need to do it every time and the type that we want the message type let's just go to our obg global and we want to get the host so let's just create that state get hosts okay and this is number zero one two three four get host type is four okay so let's just add it to our obg join in here and get hosts okay and we send the data to our server with this every three seconds so let's just check that to see if it's working or not everything is okay so let's just run if you click on join it should send every three seconds and you can see it's sending every three seconds in here everything is working fine and you can see it in here as well every three seconds it's sending a message the type of that message is four because we didn't add any value to it right so let's just add some value to this map the value that i want to add to this map is let's just say ds map add in here we want to add to this data map and the key i want to be hosts okay and default value should be no one or whatever okay because we want to in server instead of this no one we add all of our hosts to this okay so with this we will send that okay so let's just run to see if this host is sending or not so join and in here no you can see that there is another value in here that at default is minus four that is no one and know what we should do let's just stop this in here and stop our server clear everything and in our server let's just first add our state in here that is get hosts and this is number four you know it by know how it works and let's just create a function for that i want to copy and paste this function and i want to call it get hosts and let's just delete everything we don't need anything in here we will write it our own and copy and paste this here so we know that we are in get host function now let's just add the state to our state machine in here and the message type is get hosts and we want to run get hosts function in here and now everything should be okay and let's just write the, this function that is called get hosts in here okay and this is easy we can just say data we want to put our hosts in this host that we create in here so let's just copy and paste it from here and we want to put our hosts in here okay i hope it's not confusing for you you know that we create our in our hosts array so we want to send back this host array right we just send all of this you can see there is an error here and it says we did, we forgot to add this to here so now everything is okay and what we add all of our hosts to hosts key of this data okay so now we should send it we can send it with this let's just copy and paste this here and everything should work fine everything is okay so let's just run our game don't forget to save it before you run your server okay so now everything is okay let's just run our game to see First of all, let's just in here create some hosts. Two hosts is enough for testing. And let's just go to our game maker. Let's click on this join. And no, it's sending the data, but we don't receive any data. Why? Because we didn't create the async event in here. Let's just add that async networking in here. And I want to copy and paste from this async event in here. And I want to copy from here to here. Okay, to here, I think. So no, to here is good. Okay, so let's just add it to this async networking here. We need to close this and close this one as well. And the type that we want to get is get hosts. And the data that we want to get is hosts. Okay, and uh, no, let's just call these hosts. And with this line of codes in here, we get the hosts. Okay, so let's just show all of these hosts in show debug messages this host is just an a list okay in our server it's a array and in game maker we call it list so let's just debug it before that i want to say show debug messages we get all the hosts okay and let's just put a breakpoint in here and i want to debug our game and show you if we get all the hosts or not okay first of all in here the host is running we have two hosts let's just create another one in here create the host and you can see we have three hosts we have four hosts that has one player in them player number zero okay and now i want to click on join and what will happen it will go to that breakpoint now i want to show you all the hosts so let's just copy this host variable in here and put it in watch 
panel in here and now we can see this host in here but it show it as a real number so right click on it and say view as ds list because it's a list okay at the number zero host number zero is a ds map that is our player that has x and y okay and the host number one again has a ds map you can see it from here it has a ds map each uh, the that is the player number zero on this host number one and it has x and y in it okay so this is host zero this is host one this is host two and this is host three and in each one of them there is a player that is player number zero because nobody else joined our host in here joined or the host number zero so it's just have player number zero and it has an x and y in it and you can see that this player number zero is a ds map so we get all, all of our host but we should populate our join lobby room okay and it's get it will get a little bit complicated and that's why i want to create another video for that because you allow me to explain to you everything a step by a step in details so if i want to do it in this way and get all of these hosts and players in just this video it will get confusing so fast so i will end the video right now i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye